Hi, just want to briefly discuss about the evolution of the smart vent systems and to give a bit of an idea about how to identify the different uh, revisions of the product. So we're going to go right back to 2007 and uh, the first product that we sold is the smart vent system was this one here. This is the smart vent digital system. Um, it uses the ceiling control box here. Um, this, this system is fairly basic. It has a temperature sensor built into this controller. Uh, it has another temperature sensor built into this unit here. That little copper plate on the back there is actually a temperature sensor. Um, the way this is connected is via an RJ45 directly into any one of these three ports on here and it's plugged into another port on the back of the system. So that is the SmartVent digital system uh, and it's kicked off in 2007. And then uh, from there, we moved into a slightly more elaborate controller. This one's called the Evolve. Uh, has a different ceiling control box, as you can see here. It has Evolve written on there to identify it. Um, it has some other components involved in the, in the connection of this product. So we've got some different ports on the back here. We've got a port here that says uh, Ethernet to your router. We've got another board here that says expansion and we've got another board here that says sensors. So the sensors basically connected into an RJ45. Like so. And then that went out to this unit here which was a hub which we called a sensor hub. This was mounted in the ceiling space and then off that we have up to five uh, uh, sensors which are humidity and temperature sensors connected into this hub and they connect via this one RJ45 cable back into the ceiling control box. Now as well as that we have a 12 volt DC power supply coming out of the ceiling control box which connects into a router, a little wireless router um, and then we have another port from that ceiling control box, sorry from the ceiling control box going to the router uh, showing it connected in there. And the beauty of this system, I guess, at the time was that all of the controls were via Ethernet commands. So you've got, it, it was typically sold with a, a, a small um, tablet like this one here. And with that tablet, you could connect to this system wirelessly and you could control uh, the system uh, across the uh, internet using this router. Um, so those are the two oldest systems that we've got. Uh, this one was introduced in 2015, the Evolve. Uh, so that pretty much sums up um, our original lineup of um, legacy controllers. We don't sell these anymore. These are generally, they're still covered under warranty because there's still plenty of these systems out there. Um, we do have some spare parts for these available. Uh, but we're slowly whittling them down. Uh, it won't be long before we run out completely of the spare parts for these systems. All right, now we're going to have a look at what we, I guess we call our second generation of smart vent controllers. So we're starting off with this unit over here. This one was a system that we brought to market in 2018. It's the smart vent Evolve 2. Basically incorporates four thermostats and humidity sensors combined, so it's a thermostat and a humidity sensor. Uh, these were positioned in different areas of the home. There's one that was mounted outside, there was one that was mounted in the roof space, there was one that was mounted in the living room, and one in the bedroom. And they connected into a ceiling control box, and I'll show you how they connected. I'll just grab this, spin it around. So again, these were using RJ45s to connect back into the ceiling control box here. Um, you can see they look very similar. In fact, they, they have very similar architecture. And they connect into these sensor ports here which are labeled correctly as outside, roof, lounge, and bedroom. Um, so that was our first, uh, uh, I guess, second tier um, uh, product that we sold. And that was sold in 2018, as I mentioned earlier. And then we moved into um, the Smart Bend Positive 2, which is this unit here, 
Uh, this one used an NTC sensor, so there's the NT NTC sensor um, that's used for this system. This was mounted up in the roof space, usually downstream of the filter housing. Um, and again, it uses a very similar ceiling control box to the E2 platform. Um, same port arrangement here, although the ports aren't being used for this system. You can see the ports that are moving along here. Um, so that was the, e uh, the P2 system. And then uh, we then progressed into the Positive Plus system. You can see this one's labeled Positive Plus. Positive Plus again used the same ceiling control box. It used one of the thermostat combined with humidity sensing uh, sensors that we used with it. Um, that sensor plugs directly into the root port on the ceiling control box. Um, and it had the advantage of the humidity control as well as uh, thermal control of the sensing elements. So that these represent, I guess, our second tier of smart vent controllers that we introduced in starting in 2018 with this unit, 2019 with these two. Okay, and that brings us on to our third tier products. These are fairly recently um, developed and have been available since 2023. This is the smart vent advanced. Uh, it uses the same touchscreen as the previous Evol 2, um, but it does use different ceiling control box and completely different architecture in the ceiling control box. So here's the ceiling control box. As you can see, it's smaller than the Evol 2. Um, these are the connections internally. Uh, this one uses a wireless sensor. The sensors look like this sensor here, and it's covered off in an earlier uh, video that we did around pairing of these sensors to the ceiling control box. So each one of these comes with a button cell battery, um, a CR2023, and that pairs to the receiver unit built into the ceiling control box. So there are typically there are four of these. So we've got outside, we've got roof, we've got lounge, and we've got bedroom. And these are located in those different parts of the home. Um, and then we use the pairing process to pair it to this uh, receiver unit inside the ceiling control box. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that's all of our systems there. It's all, all the different um, legacy back to the original digital system and the Evolve system through to the E2 platform and the P2 and the P+. Um, so those are our uh, units that require a ceiling control box to, to uh, control the fans. And uh, next we're going to look at some of the light systems. So we sell systems which are basically wall controlled systems. They don't have a ceiling control box. All the connections are back in the wall controller. So first of all we've got the Light 2. The Light 2 uses an NTC sensor. That's directly wired into the back of, this, uh, of a wall controller. I'll we'll show you that there. Um, got the wiring going straight into the connections back there for a 240 volt power supply. And typically you'd have your fan connections coming out of here as well. Um, and then we developed the Light Plus. The Light Plus uses the the thermostat and the um, humidity sensor combined. Um, that's wired into the back of the ceiling control box by the same terminal. So you're going to have to cut the RJ45 cable and use the specific wires that go to the connections at the back there for this to operate. And then finally, um, we're looking here at the heat trans controller. The heat trans controller isn't really part of the smart vent system. Uh, this one's just a thermostat which controls a fan to blow warm air from the living area into your bedrooms and that's the thermostat there. Thank you for watching. For more help, please contact us on 0800 140 150 or visit our website smartvent.co.nz.